A very good evening to you on this Sunday night. I was just sitting here. <laughs> I was trying to finish the bracelet from last week, but um, I still got a few more stitches. How are we doing? Um, let us know in the comments where you're watching from. Also, if you have got a picture for me and I already sent a picture in, um, do send it to me so I can um, show it to everybody. That would be perfect. If you got a question, put a queue in front of your um, question so I know it's for me. I can answer it for you. And we're going to get going. And what shall we do? What technique shall we do tonight? I was thinking we had a little play with the right angle weave last week but maybe do a bit more traditional um hugs and kisses bracelet let's have a go at that one i still got quite a few colorways to use up i'm just look, looking at them they're really really nice um colorways we have if you made anything please send a picture so i can show it to everybody i'm going to wait until a few more people comes in and then i'm going to show Isla's picture off for you right okay so let me turn you down and then i'm going to go ahead and grab some beads out so maybe zoom out a little bit there we go so which beads shall we use tonight what did we do shall we use we could use a multicolor one again or or oh they are nice i like these coffee color ones as well and i'll give you one more option i'll give you a blue because there is like, <laughs> you know me, I, I come up with so many different colors. I'll give you a blue as well. So which one do you want me to use tonight? The blue, the coffee, or the rainbow? Or did we use the rainbow? No, we didn't. We, did, we, we used the other one. This is the autumn rainbow. We used the normal rainbow. And was it this one? I think this, this was the seed bead for that one. And that's for the blue. Let me just move it up a bit. So, rainbow, blue, or coffee is your choice. Which we, which one are we going to start to make with tonight? And I grab needle and thread out. Good evening, Michelle. I hope you are. Um, I hope you're okay. Um, she says my favorite is row on a nice spiral. Yeah, absolutely. Row stands for right angle weave. Um, if you don't know, good evening, Brenda, Robin, lovely, how are you? Um, Lucy, good evening. Isla, Isla got your picture. I'm going to show it to you for everybody. I'm just waiting for people to come in. Um, good evening, Mina, Celia. Celia, message me a picture. Did you? I'm going to go and have a look for that then. Just in a second. Good evening, Rachel. Wendy is here as well. Rainbow. Rachel is saying blue, blue, blue. And Wendy is saying is rainbow. Right. Let me just at the same time pop in here. Yeah, I got Celia's picture as well. I can see it. So let me just move that out. And then I'm going to show that one off as well. Lucy's saying blue. What size seed beads are you using? So these are size 15s. And last week we were doing this little flat spiral. I have... Um, I haven't finished it. I will finish it. But it's beautiful. Like I tried the size 11 seed beads and I did show this off um, last week. Oh, come on camera, zoom on it. I did show this off on the, uh, last week, but the size 11s were too big for the 6mm and the 3mm hematite beads. Um, good evening, Cherry. Hope you're all right. Um, I have many favorites, but my spirals are not my friends. <laughs> Kim, we did the uh, flat spiral last week. So the question was right at the top that what is your favorite technique um, or bead weaving? So let us know in the chat. Good evening, Edward. And Linda is, Linda is saying blue. I think the blue is winning. <laughs> is anybody taking, um, anybody's taking count? Because um, I think blue is winning. Good evening, Elaine. I hope you're doing okay as well. Oh, Edward is saying he's working on the chevron stitch with bar beads. Oh, that, that's, I love that one. Um, and you can actually, Edward, you can do that with super jewels as well. They look really good um, because they kind of like fit in. <laughs> I've got some bracelets somewhere, but I rearranged the, the cupboard again. I've taken the colors out and then put them back into the type of uh, beadwork and like just like, it's still, it's, it's still, need more, it's still need more sorting. But it's just, I've got so much samples. Uh, Michelle is saying blue, Kim is saying coffee, good evening blue, Joe, good evening, blue, okay, I think blue, I think blue is one outright, so we're going to go with the blue, so we're going to do, well, we, we, we go with the blue and then we do something else afterwards, another colour perhaps, I'll just pop these back so I don't mix them up, and I'm going to grab some thread, so I'm going to grab 
a lighter color blue because I think the darker color that will be too dark so we're gonna work with a lighter color I'm gonna grab a needle and we're gonna get started P uh, Lucy saying peyote is her favorite I think peyote was the first ever stitch I learned I think it was peyote right angle weave and square stitch I think that the, the first three and peyote was the first and I think it, then it was right angle weave or square stitch and I, and I remember how much I didn't <laughs> like right angle weave and now that's that's the stitch I use the most absolutely beautiful right at right angle we just got so much give and take in it like you can do so much i think that needle is not right um you know saying kitty while i was looking at the kitty one lady asked for chevron stitch base set yeah we did a while back um september october time if you check it out on the website and you go back then um it was with check bars and seed size 11 seed beads and it, it's a beautiful flat bracelet like it, that that pattern really creates a beautiful um sort of fabric like structure and we're just saying blue as well we are using blue right okay so we're gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna cut the strands so we're gonna create a base with, with um, a hogs and kisses base that you can either do the base first and then come back on the things on the top or you can you can add them on the top as well as you go along so we usually do the base from beginning to end but remember like we try and get little swatches tonight so I think I'm gonna do it at the same time can you saying just tried netting for first time yesterday and love that oh I love a bit of netting Oh, good evening, Caroline. Nice to see you there. Amelia is here. Right, okay. I'm quickly going to show you the picture. Isla's and um, Isla's picture is coming back first. I hope I'm not mixing it up. I think this was Isla's. Thinking about it, bringing it in. <laughs> I can see it going around the little circle. Something is thick sometimes. Yeah, there we go. So Isla finished the flat spiral. So that is, looks beautiful. And I love your clasp. That looks really nice. And I love how you extended the bracelet with uh, a single bead as well. That looks really, really good. Let's have a look at Celia's. There we go. Let me just make this bigger. And she did it. This is a right angle V1. So she's got six millimeter, the six millimeter going around in, in sort of, and, and then you've got the three millimeters on the side. I can see it. The picture is not quite clear, but definitely it looks really, really good. Well done, honey. Um, I like think how's Christopher? So Christopher is tested negative this morning. So <laughs> all good. <laughs> Hopefully, well, he was on. He was all right yesterday and the day before as well, to be honest, because he was able to play his games on the computer and and on on his Oculus, so <laughs> he wasn't too bad. Bless him. Right. There, I'm just gonna grab some seed beads out as well. So, with right angle weave and hugs and kisses bracelet, you're always gonna be picking up four beads. So, I'm gonna pick up four of the six millimeter hematite. And I'm going to take them down on my thread and I'm going to come through all four of them again to form a circle and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better and I just go in there we go so let's find the middle I'm going to go through all four of them so this is my tail end I'm just going to go up through the all of them and actually I'm going to come through the first two as well so I'm working away from my tail. So with, with right angle, when actually now looking at it, I might take it back because you can see that we do have got a very large thread path here, which um, actually let's, let's do a little swatch because then you can see the difference in between. So anytime when you design jewelry like this, what I don't like to see is the thread path in between the beads. So I think it would be nice if you added a three mil in in between the sixes and we do that next let me just do the 
just a few with the, the sixes and then we'll see how is it going to look and what will be the difference. So we said that we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the decoration on the top at the same time so we don't have to come back and do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm don't, not sure how many seed beads we're going to need. So we're going to need one. I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five. That's, that's probably about right. And a three millimeter then another five seed bead and I'm going to cross back over I'm going to cross back over so as I'm coming out on this side I'm going to cross back over step one bead back and come through from the other side just like that I'm gonna pick it up and then we're going to cross back up over. I'm going to pick up five more seed beads. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to, as I'm coming out of here, I'm going to go in this little three millimeter hematite. I'm just going to hold that down. And then I'm going to pick up another five and come through on the top. One, two, three. I'm going to do another unit just exactly the same, or maybe a couple of units, and then we're going to add in the three mils, and then you're going to see what the difference is. So we're just going to create little units. I think the five actually might be a little bit too much, so we might have to do four. But I think it's going to be a very nice little pattern. And from here, you would pick up three six millimeter. You would come through the this six millimeter you are exiting at on one side you would come through it from the other side make sure you don't go through the 15. so we got our next unit ready i'm gonna you can either weave your thread up here first and do your cross or you can do your cross now and then weave your thread up to the next unit so you can continue actually the size 15s do cover up the thread what be, what would be showing underneath it so i think it's actually not too bad but i'm going to try the across read four seed beads because the five is a bit too much but anytime we design anything this is how like there's there's no other way you can do it you just have to um you just have to sort of sit down work it out if it doesn't work then take it back and add less <laughs> add, add some beads or take take or or take some away so I'm picking up four seed beads at a time I'm using size 15s taking it down again I want to cross over so I'm exiting on this side so I'm going to come from the other side just pick this up come through the bead and then I think four is going to look four, four is the number but uh, that again there is two different ways I could go through this um this bit here so I can either go through from this position and going that way or I can come from top to bottom and then it will turn the bead that way and it will, will give you a slightly different cross so I'm going to go the same way I went in the previous so and then we do one more and perhaps we go the other way so you will see and then we can try out the base with adding a three millimeter hematite in. Right, I'm gonna come through that one. So let's just have a look. So I think the smaller X looks much nicer. Do you think we should go down to three seed beads and try it with three? Because, well, it, it would pull it together. I think if you go down to three, it would pull it together, but it, it might uh, would look tonight. Oh, this is Bob the LinkedIn um, for, um, for the kids that's brilliant Sherry saying agree fourth worth trying um good evening Shirley nice to see you here material yeah Lisa, Lisa just said link of up for material is what we're using tonight good evening Debbie handcrafted bleed seeds good evening as well <laughs> Minnie's saying that's boys yeah <laughs> playing video games absolutely um Sometimes I have to go ahead and, and reset the router downstairs. <laughs> we got a very dodgy internet connection here because obviously that will 
get him off the game because he will his game will crash. But when you ask him, and then he has his five minute warning, and then you ask him again, and then you ask him again, and after that just reset the router. <laughs> right, I'm adding another three. So shall we try it with three seed beads this time and see how is that going to look like? The five definitely too much. The four is okay. If we do it with three and perhaps we turn the um, the direction of the top hematite, then it might, I think it's going to look great. So I'm going to pick up three this time. So usually when I make up little swatches like this, I keep them. I don't... Um, don't take them apart because I can come back and you kind of like learn from the mistakes. <laughs> you can keep looking at it. Oh, look, I think that sits just nice. The three like this. This one is if I show it from you, this angle that well, let's let, let me put the other side on it. But I think that's going to look the three. Three is going to three is the magic number by look of it. And this time, instead of turning it sideways, I'm going to go in from the top and go down that way there we go just make sure it's nice and tight maybe what we should have done what i should have done is use a different three mil because we got a darker blue kit as well so i could have maybe mixed two kits together that would look really cool as well and i'm going to go in at the bottom so every single time we sort of crossing over just creating that x on the top of our base there we go. I think, what do you think? Now we need, we need to vote on this. <laughs> which one do you like the best? The five, the four or the three? Let me know in the chat, which one do you think is works the best? If I show you, I think from the top, the three looks really nice and neat. If I turn it sideways, uh, you can see somewhat that um, the five and a four, it's kind of sort of doming above your beads and the three just fits in it just fits right into the the middle so let me know in the chat which one which one do you think is the best the five the four or the three and actually what i might do is grab another thread and we just do a little sections a few little sections just 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 with this pattern just to see how does it look like when we're adding it all together so i'm gonna go ahead Debbie's saying three, Joey's saying three, Kimmy's saying three. I like the last one best, Lucy's saying, Rachel is saying three, so everybody likes the three. Three is the magic number. Am I just grabbing another needle? And I'm gonna go ahead and start a new one up, and then we're just gonna do a few together. Everybody's saying three. But you see, this is all, this is how it. You just have to try it. This this is how it goes. Right. So let's do. I'm gonna to need to grab some more beads. Let's do a few. I'm gonna cut this up. Actually, let me just go around this a couple of times. So they're not gonna fall off, and then I'm just gonna cut the end off. And I'm going to pop this to the side. I'm going to keep this for future reference, sort of. The, um, how does it look like? Okay, so I got my new thread. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same. Now, I could either make, as I said, the base, or I could just go and... Um, and do the crosses at the same time. So what shall we do? Shall we do a base first and then come back and do the crosses or keep it doing them at the same time? Do let me know in the chat what shall we do. Trues is saying three, Caroline is saying three, Diane. It's a little bit like hugs and kisses, absolutely Diane. Hugs and kisses all around. Right, so I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up four of my six millimeter. I'm gonna go through all of them again. I mean, the six millimeters do have larger holes, so you could, you could um, knot your tail and then you're working again together. I'd rather run around one more time than knot it, so I don't get the knot going in the bead itself. I'm gonna come I'm going to run around one more time. 
so I get a nice solid base because so I probably am going to keep this and I'm going to make this into I'm going to finish this into a bracelet right so I'm gonna I'm just gonna come through this one so I'm working away from my tail and I'm gonna go ahead so what we're we doing do the base first um Eleni is saying three definitely <laughs> I just look what are we doing are we doing the base first or are we, do, are we doing the top part as well right let's do the base first and um I do let, let's do like a five a set of five and then I'm going to run back down and run back up and then I can add to both sides yeah that would be good because I got a tail end here so when I'm I will be turning into the full bracelet I can continue down here and then on the other side they're going to have this thread so that's brilliant so I'm going to as as you have your first set of four then straight ahead you're going to go and pick up another three as you're exiting on one side of the bead you're going to come through the other side and you're going to pull this nice and tight and then you're going to come through the next two beads to get to the top and you're going to repeat this again so we're just going to do right angle weave all the way along and every single time I'm getting to the top I'm going to pick up three beads and then I'm exiting this side at the moment and I'm going to come from the other side but actually if your um, tension is a little bit loose then you can go down and run around one more time just to strengthen and pull this really nice and tight to tighten it up. Hematite is quite a heavy bead because it's a mined mineral. They are quite heavy beads. Right. To the top. And it's got more of a solid base to hold on to. Right. Okay. Picking up the next three. I'm exiting on this side. So I'm going to come from the other side. Um, Cherry Sing, if bracelet do both, um, I'm going to do just five and then we're going to turn back around because remember, like a lot of the times, this is like I just do a little bit of a swatch, like a couple of inches because sometimes you have to do a little bit more to really see the pattern. So I'm going to do a couple of inches and then we will come and zigzag on the top. I will have threads on both ends so I can continue it to a bracelet later on. Otherwise, we will be here all night. I mean, I don't mind. I got nowhere to be. <laughs> Happily sit here until midnight with you a lot. All right, coming. I'm doing the same thing every single time. I'm stepping up through two beads. And then I'm going to pick up three. Oh, did I need to go around? Oh, I did go around. So I'm going to. I reinforced every single one of them, so I'm going to reinforce this one as well to get a nice and tight finish. There we go. And up to the top, picking up my next three. I'm exiting on this side, so I'm going to come from the other. So the right angle weave, you're always going sort of around and round um, from one and you never cross over your beads you're always going oh you're always going around in a circle and right, there we go i'm gonna run around this one one more time shall we i'll do one more unit so we have a nice oh i don't want the thread to not not don't don't not tonight thread if you not not want any knot Hold on, let's tighten that up. I must have stitched through. I must have stitched through the thread there. And there we go. And I'm gonna get to the top. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one more unit onto the top. And then we're gonna zigzag. <laughs> Can't cross the streamers. <laughs> Absolutely. One, two three on my needle right so you would make this as long as you need to make it for your bracelet now don't forget that you might once you add the decoration on the top and you go backwards and forwards in your bracelet it might become a tiny bit smaller 
So do allow for that one. But that's why um, when, when I do anything like this, sometimes I start with the clasp on one end, do the base all the way to the other end of the clasp on and then come back. But sometimes I leave one end open so I can adjust it and add an extra unit on there if I want to. <laughs> I thought that, I thought, Jerry, that wasn't right what you said. <laughs> oh, bless. Our Ruth, thank you so much. Please hit the like button and um, it really, really appreciate it. helps the channel grow. Right, so I'm going to cross, going to come zigzag all the way down and then we're going to zigzag up. So when we're doing one unit, obviously you would go, you would come down, you would cross over, you would pick up your beads, come, go back into a little bead and sort of go and do the next unit. When we have got a whole row of them, what we will be doing is... We're going to picking up, as I'm exiting here, I'm going to pick up three seed bead. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter round. Another three seed bead. And then I'm exiting here. So I'm going to come from the bottom and I'm going to go through the next one in. And I pull this up. And there we go. We go all sort of a half a half across, but instead of turning back and going back into this unit, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up three more seed beads, another three mil, another three more seed bead, and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the next unit. And I'm gonna do this all the way down. Actually, it like kind of looks nice just to have sort of the half the kisses. The half half kiss is nice as well. <laughs> right, three seed beads, three millimeter hematite, and another three seed bead. And I'm going through the next. I'm always going through the middle, and I'm always exiting on the top. So I'm going to come from the bottom, and I'm going to do this all the way down. One, two, three. Another three mil. One, two three beads and then into the next one and there we go and I'm just going to continue I've got two more units to add and then we're going to turn around and another three mil another three right while I'm coming down and going back up let's think what we're going to do next what other, oh, we want to try it with the beads at the bottom, I think we said. We will try that first. And then what other technique do we want to do tonight? What can we do? We've got three millimeter, six millimeter hematite beads and size 11 seed beads. What can we do with those beads? So we did the flat spiral last week. We're doing hugs and kisses tonight. I think that looks quite nice as well just like having, but then but then uh, you would definitely need to hide the thread paths there. So either maybe a seed bead or something would need to go in there to hide the thread paths, but it does look nice just having, let me lift this up for you, just having sort of half a, half a, <laughs> well, dashes, <laughs> just having dashes on there. Right, okay, so I'm gonna turn this around and then I'm gonna start coming back on myself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up three seed beads. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go through the little three millimeter. Pull this up nice and tight. I'm just holding onto it. Tightening it up. Come on. I want you. I'm going to hold you down. And then you're not going to come back up. There we go. And then I'm going to pick up another three. And then this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come from the top to bottom. I'm going to go to the next middle hematite. There we go. And then straight ahead I'm picking up the next three. And so on all the way down. So when I'm coming back I'm only picking up three seed beads at the time. Come on, where is the hole? There we go. And then 
We could actually add more bits of pieces to the sides as well if we wanted to. Add another row to embellish it even more. You can embellish it as much as you want to. So we could add something on the side here. Maybe we could add a three. Ooh, we could add a three mil in between. Will that be the right? I'm already thinking, but I haven't even finished this step, and I'm thinking about the next one. Look, I think we could add a three mil in there. How cute would that look? That, I think that would look really good. And I am I either going to add it into the size 15s, or I can add it into the six mils on the side. Um, we decide in a sec. When I, I'm, I'll get down, and then we can come back up adding those beads in. Right, okay, so three seed beads. And then I'm coming through this one right here. Three seed beads again. When we're using 15s, like, you know, they are kind of like the smallest one of the seed beads we usually use. I like to do patterns where you don't have to go back to the 15s so much because they are tiny. So if you don't know how big the 15s are, they 1.5 millimeter. And what 15 means is that um, in olden days, they measured how many seed beads fits into an inch. And, and that would be the size of the size of the bead. So if there was eight beads fitted into an inch, they, they strung it on a piece of strand, then it would be size eight if it was 10. This, this, this years is not really like that anymore because factories, obviously they're made by machines, so they are preset. Right, so I'm just gonna come through and add the last one. I've picked up three seed beads every single time. Oops, I'm a bit off. I think my camera has moved. One, two, three. Right, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something on the side. We're gonna add. Add the. Hold on, I got the thread cord. There we go. We're gonna add the three mils onto the side. So, I think if I add if I add it to the side, like look, if I just add the three mil coming or in between just the three mil itself, um, these beads, I think it will pull the pattern together because the gap is bigger than a three mil itself. So I think what we need to do is add a seed bead to either side and see how it's gonna... Oh, Kelly's here. Hi, Kelly. How are you doing? Oh, Vicky's here. Good evening, Vicky. I didn't even like it. Sometimes I get so <laughs> engrossed in what I'm doing that you can forget to look at the comments. Um, Cherry's saying, the way you demo with things uh, lying flat when you can is super helpful. I'm left-handed, so that makes following instructions challenging sometimes. Um, you could left-handed. It doesn't really, yeah, yeah, I get it. I, I can sew with both hands. So I do um, do understand. Like sometimes when, when I watch something, when, when they're making it with left-handed, I want to make it with left hand and... When they're doing right-handed, I want to do it with right hand. But um, like if you had like written instructions, you could like always look at it through a mirror. That's that's a quite a good way to do it. But um, I can try do it left-handed if you like. <laughs> but um, there we go. So I went through this six mil here. I'm gonna pick up a seed bead, a three mil, and another seed bead. And then I'm just going to come through this next six, six mil here and see how big I think. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm going to add a couple more and we can take it off. I'm not sure if that's going to that's gonna look good there just by adding the first bead in. No, it doesn't really fit. I'm, I'm going to stop. And as you can see, like it's already bowing my pattern, so it's not the right amount. So if I take the seed beads out, let's take the seed beads out and then we see, just taking my needle off, we see if you just by adding the side, the three millimeter, or we could just add seed beads. We could just add seed beads too. Let's just try to add the three mil and see how much is it gonna pull it together because it might actually look nice if it pulls it together a little bit. 
Oh, Kelly's saying she's good. There's public holiday tomorrow and she's going to be having her husband. So um, Kelly is, she's doing paper craft. She's so amazing, doing all sorts of different bits of pieces. And she's from South Africa. Enjoy saying try just the three millimeter. We'll do. Let's just try the three mil and then see how we get on. Oh, Cherry's saying that's how I was taught to write in a mirror. Not asking you to change it all. Oh, bless you. There's so many different ways now that you can do things. And sometimes, like, you're so used to looking at something one way, and then if somebody else does it differently or, or, or try to explain from the other way, and you'll actually find that um, that can be confusing. Right, so I'm just going to pick up a 3 mil, and I'm going to go through just the next 6 mil, and I'm going to add a few of these in. And we see what is it going to look like. I'm just going to keep adding in. And I'm going to run up. I think it's pulling it together a little bit, but it's not too bad. And actually, if you wanted to do a necklace this way, I wonder if we added a smaller bead on one side and a larger bead on the other side, how much it would stretch out. But it would, it would turn the pattern somewhat. Right, so I'm going to add another three mil. And I'm going to turn around at the top. I think the three mil is fine. Oops, sorry. I'm going to be add. The three mil is fine. What do we think? Oh, Joe is saying she's been watching Kelly. Oh, bless. Everybody needs to watch Kelly. She's very, very good. And going through. So I'm just going to cross over, cross up over. And I'm going to come back and fill the three millimeters in here as well. There we go, just turning around. And because I will have threads on both ends, I will be able to continue the beadwork later on. Or I might just decide to have like a little bit of beadwork in, in a bracelet and just have like long, um, you know, you sometimes you just only want a little bit of element on the top of your wrist and just have a string of beads going to the clasp at the back as well. That would look really good as well. Shirley's saying yes. Uh, is that yes to yes to watching Kelly? Oh, Lorne is here. Good evening, lovely. Oh, Lorne has been cutting hair. I need to cut Christopher's hair because as well, but he doesn't. He doesn't want a haircut. He's got it in his head again. He wants to grow his hair. And but he said, if if I cut it for him, he will trust me because I won't cut too much up for him. It's because when he, I, I think it's all about like when you go to the hairdressers, and and they cut your hair and the hair sort of falls down onto the floor, and then what happens is that you see the size of the hair on the floor, <laughs> and I think that's that's sort of what freaks him out and doesn't want to go to the hairdresser because he thinks the hairdresser cuts off too much. Now what I do, I do cut a bit off and then a bit more off and a bit more off. He ends up with the same the same length. But obviously on the floor he can't see he can't see big pieces of hair. Right, there we go. So I think that looks really good. Now if you had because it's it's kinda like it's gone like a lattice pattern um by having the three mil there. I think that looks really good. That looks perfect. Yep. Thank you so much. I um I, I think it looks really good as well, even if I say so myself. Let him to grow it to donate later on. Um, so last year he did he did grow his hair and he wanted to he want he wanted to donate it for my mum to have a a wig made. But unfortunately it wasn't enough and it would have cost an arm and leg to have one made. Um, so but I don't know, I I, I don't know. But he, he might grow it a bit, but. He's got so much hair. Like, he's got a lot of hair like I have, but he's got really, really thick hair. So is Lucy. Um, they got very good hairs. Right, okay. So, um, what are we going to do next? Yes, the team knew it. So, what are we going to do next? Let me know in the chat. I'm going to grab another color, and then we're going to work out something else. Um, we had a little play. This was the right angle where we had a play last week, which didn't really sort of turn out as nice. But um, what shall we do next? Or are we going to try? I don't think we need to try to add the three million because we added so many beads in there now. We added so many beads in there. Let me just take that. We added so many beads to the top 
and and it, you're not going to see those thread parts at all there is no way you will be able to see that from the top so i don't think we need we need to add anything else in there i think i think that looks really good as it is so what technique are we doing next let me know what would you like to do i'm going to take a couple of arm length and put it to the side i will finish this later because i got a thread here so i could just add more base units or i could add a long single strand and then uh, um, join it to the clasp so shall we do maybe we could do some sort of netting i think that would look really good since somebody somebody came in said they like netting can you do some earring using the same pattern absolutely you could you could have we could do the four sort of on an angle at the bottom let's do a pair of earrings because we could do four at the bottom and then we could do threes oops i just threes at the top threes at the top four at the bottom so we're going to have the little cross and then we could do like a little circle of three at the bottom yeah we do that maybe five and let me just grab i still got the odd needle there and we're going to have a little go at that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up these four beads and form them into a circle. And then we're going to add the cross on the top. And I like to, you can leave it like just a diamond shape, but I think if we add, it's going to come through, go past the tail again. And then just have this nice and tight. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna add the cross. Hold on, we got a rogue thread path there. What happened, thread path? There we go. I'm gonna add the crossing. So we're gonna do three of Gonna come from the bottom. I must have stitched through. Hold on. Hold on, let's tighten up you up. I don't like. I st must have stitched through the thread somewhere along the line. Let's pull it really tight. Oh, oh. silly me, look. <laughs> it happens to everybody. I missed the second three seed beads. Oh, there we go. So another three seed beads. Then I'm going to, as I'm exiting on one side, I'm going to go down on the other side. There we go. And then I'm going to pick up another three. And I'm going to go up in the three mil. I think I will run around later on and tidy this up. And actually we could add three mils on the top there as well to round it out a little bit. I think that would look really good. Um, I was saying I tried a pendant before, but we began, but it didn't work. Which pendant was that lovely? Do let me know or send me a picture <laughs> because sometimes we don't just need to see what worked, but perhaps it's good to see what didn't work as well. And if you do send me a picture, if you've been working with the hematite beads, then just let me know in the chat so I can go and look out for it and bring it in the stream. Right? Right on the top. So I think if we added 3 mil, 3 mil, 3 mil, I'm just going to pick up 3 3 mils and see what would it look like if we added 3 3 mils to the top to make it more like a drop shape rather done so i'm exiting at the bottom i'm going to come to the same one again what is it going to look like i'm not sure if the threes three threes <laughs> three threes are enough but I'm, I'm i'm going to go with it because i'm going to turn and i'm going to add three mils in here as well and see how does that look and then go towards the top and we did another one right so as i'm coming out of the six mil Let's get the tail out of the way. I'm going to pick up another three. I'm going to go clockwise here all the way around. 
the 6 mil, but I'm only adding the 3 mil in. So that's one. I'm going to add another one here. Two. Another one here because I just want to cover up the thread path there. Maybe if you just do one unit, we do start with the three mils in there already. And then coming through the top and going through that one again. I think, I think, should we? No, I think we don't need, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and around one more time. And when I get here, instead of crossing into here, I'm going to go up into those three and kind of like sewing the whole thing together. Just make sure they're sitting straight. And then I'm going to run around one more time. So just sort of just make it more, a bit more sort of a, a drop shape. Oh, Victoria's home. I can hear her in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to have to text her in a minute. And going straight up. How many of you does this that do let me know? Like I do it all the time. And when, I, when I'm downstairs and the kids upstairs and I need them downstairs or or like in this case, I can hear Victoria is in Potter and go back in the kitchen that you text them that like, can you come down for dinner or can you do this or can you do that rather than going or shouting for them? all the time. Actually, I think my door is open as well on the office. I think that looks really cute. Come, coming up, we could add another another unit on the top here, but I think I'm just adding, I'm going to add size 15 seed beads, like a circle of them, so then I can connect it onto an air wire. We can't, you can't hear her. It's it's not that like it's like when somebody's cutting the grass outside, or like they when they started to do the roadworks. Like you can hear it in the microphone, but I can hear it. It's a distraction for me. Oh, I listen. She stood up, breasted apart. It was five large beads in a circle, loops of seed beads on the outside, and another row of loops with seed beads and three millimeter on top. Not good, but we'll try again tomorrow. We could do, it, but we did did do that pendant um a couple of weeks back maybe three weeks back with the tiger eye um, beads as well. So I have got hematite pendants coming up and probably I'm not supposed to show you, but I'm going to show you anyway. So this will be in the live in, um, not next week, but the week after. And it's going to be one kit. It's going to be a multicolor kit. So that they will be coming up, but you have to swear secrecy. You haven't seen this. Like <laughs> anybody says anything, you haven't seen the pendants. I think there is 12 colors in a kit. So please um, look out for that one. There we go. So they're, they're going to be, I, I'm, I've got more colors than that, but they're going to be coming up. They are eight millimeter hematite. So if you have got any of the bracelet kits, look out for this one because you will be able to make a matching pendant, but you didn't see this. So there we go. Right, what are we doing next? So we made a bit of a bracelet. We tried a couple of patterns. We made a little bit of earring. Um, we could have added five here to have a, a nicer curve over the top. So you could try that as well. If anybody tries it, pop in the group so we can all see it. Look at Sally saying that, that's stunning. That's the, the pendants, but you haven't seen it. <laughs> Right, okay, let's get going. So what else are we going to do? So we've done hugs and kisses, netting. Let's do a little bit of netting because I do really love netting. And then we're going to do, uh, I'm going to grab another color. So we worked with, worked with light blue. And let me just move these out of the way. And we're going to grab, let's grab either the bronze. Let me know which one, which one shall we do next? Because there's so many nice colors. So we got bronze. Or we got the autumn rainbow, which is also called, I call it this mermaid pink. And I, th I think on the website, some of the, some of it has been called as mermaid pink. So do let me know which one shall we do next. The coffee or the the mermaid pink. <laughs> Can we sing? Keep it secret. Absolutely. You haven't seen it. Like zip. No, you don't know anything. 
And that's it. Right. Okay. So, love the white and bronze color. Um, oh, that's for the pendants. Are we going to go with the coffee or are we going to go with the rainbow? Rainbow, please, Michelle is saying. Bronze trees is saying. <laughs> yeah, one of them has to be more than the other. Coffee. Oh, the bottom one is the rainbow. So we got one, two, two bronze. Three, one, two. Oh, that's it, Robin. That's that's what I'm talking about. Seeing what? I didn't see anything. That's it. Mermaid pink. Oh, is anybody just saying rainbow? So that's the mermaid thing. Um, oh, little this rainbow here. Yeah, we're going to do this one then. And that's actually quite nice because this one has got um, the matching seed beads will blend in it with more. But this one, and if I didn't, because you know me, and there's another seed bead there, so I might have mixed it up, but I think... No, I didn't because that's the purple. So it's definitely going with this color, I think. What is it? I'm very quickly going to pop on the website because I don't want to use the wrong color with you. Right. Very, very quickly. I'm going to go and have a look because I think it's either this color or... or but no, I'm sure it's this color. You know me, I can mix up anything at any time. Right, going on totallybeads.co.uk. Now you know the drill. And I am, <laughs> just because I always, always say in a live. And then you, when you go on the website, you like, you kind of like start to say in your head um, at the same time, creation station. And I'm going to find March 2022. There we go. Yes, that's the right seed bit. It's cool. So that's the right seed bit. Sorry. So we're going to be doing some nothing. Oh, Kelly's been counting. Thank you so much. Like, you know, somebody has to keep count. She's saying it's an even split. We're going to do the mermaid. I, I, I walk for the mermaid. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plan this out a little bit. So with netting, you want to have... Um, if you're doing a necklace, you're gonna need another size bead. But if we do a bracelet, um, we, we it will no. Actually, we could we could we, there is a way there there is a way how we can do it, um, how we can naturally curve it. But curving a netted necklace, it does take some working out because the bottom and and when we start going, you will you will know what I mean. When you um, just move this up a tiny bit. And then get these ones out. You will see what I mean. So with netting, we are depending of how many rows are we doing. We basically we going up and then we coming down and then we going up and then when we going down. And in some places we're gonna have to have larger beads to hold um, our pattern together. So if I'm going up and I call them crossover beads so we can we can have the six mils on the side and then we will have or shall we cross over in a six mil shall we cross over in a six mil or shall we cross over in a three mil we could try both so if I got I think I'm, I had some paper here I could have drawn it down for you but so we could go up and then have the, the let's just get started because uh, it's probably <laughs> easier if we just get started. Right, so we're kind of going to wing numbers for the, oh, I need thread. You can't go anywhere without thread. Yep, yeah, that will be a nice color for it. So we're going to be weaving up and down. And then we could put the three mils on the sides. Hmm. I'm not. Um, I'm not sure if the six mil might be too big to to cross over. Maybe we should cross over in the three mil. Maybe maybe we don't have to use both of the sizes. We can just use one size of the beads. But actually. Why don't we just start going and we do a couple of little swatches and we do we, we just experiment for different sizes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Minnie is saying, my son calls me from his bedroom when he's hungry. Otherwise, he ignores my messages. Absolutely, Mina. The same here. Like, if he wants something, he starts calling, calling me. Right, so if I just want to, for, for one sec, let's just do some with the three millimeter here. So I'm, because I'm using the three mil, I'm going to add three seed beads in between. So I'm going to start with a three mil and I'm going to pick up three size 15s, another three mil, another three size 15s. So we're going to be going up and down and another three mil, another three size 15s and how many do I want to do? One more. Another three mil. Another 15. It depends how wide you want to do it because um obviously you're gonna like sort of curl around here, but um depending on how wide you want to do it. Oh no, it's four or five. I need five. I'm gonna take one and one more. So you always start. Oh, do we want a now that's a question. Do we want a pointy end and turn around in this bead? Or do we want or do we want a curly end? I think I'm gonna do a curly end for this one. So I'm gonna pick up another three seed beads. One, two, three. And I'm gonna curl this around just like that, and I'm gonna come through this bead here. And actually, in fact, we don't really need those ones at the bottom but never mind we can get rid of those later so and then i'm going to pick up another three size 15s although let me just go up a bit so you can see it better another three size 15s a three mil another three size 15s one two three a three mil one two Three. There we go. Another three mil and another three size fifteens. And I'm gonna go back through this bead here. So I came down in this direction and I'm gonna go back up just like that. I'm gonna pull it tight in a sec. So it's gonna be nice and so we always crossing over in a three mil now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up again three size 15s oops I just put them all over my table and that three mil another three size 15 and another three mil and finally another three size 15 and then I'm going to come through this one right here so I traveled up so now I'm going to travel that I'm going to pick this up so I can hold the tension nice and tight and pull this up and on a two bead netting you do exactly the same all the way down I'm going to do a few a bit more so just we get the pattern so three seed beads a three mil another three seed bead, another three mil, and another three seed bead. And then I'm going to come through this guy here. I'm just going to hold on to it. And come up. And I'm, all I'm doing is just going upwards and downwards and adding. And we're going to have, I mean, this one is a little bit too open. I think with the three seed beads it's a bit too open so maybe we need to go down to two seed beads because it's going to be too stretchy like not stretchy but um springy and Joe is saying same here I think Joe's son is a couple of years older than my Christopher it's like this these days they just it's the game and everything is <laughs> it's just that's that's what they do I mean when I was young <laughs> we, the only way you could know where your friends, like there were no phones, there were nothing. The well, you know, you, you know how it was. The only way you knew where your friends were is like which house had the most bicycle in front of it. And now we're checking all these devices. 
the who is on and who is where. Right, coming back through here. And then you could carry on, but I'm not going to carry on because three. Now, let's add, let's add one more so it evens out. But I think three seed bits is too many. We need two in between. Or maybe even, maybe even one. Maybe we could even do one and it would be a very tight netted. Now, if you wanted this as a necklace, then what we need to do is on the top side, you need to have it smaller and on the bottom side, you would need to have it bigger. So what I mean is that we could use the six mil at the bottom and then this side and this side would fan out. Let me just move this camera down because I keep like, you know, especially when I'm getting tired, I keep moving, I keep moving the beading towards me. Right, so we could, I, I, I want to try it with, shall we try it with two beads? Let me know in the chat if we should try it with two beads. I think with three beads, it looks too open. It's not, um, it's, it's too gappy or one bead. So I want you to put in the chat if you want me to try it with two beads or one bead. Which one shall we try it with? And I'm just going to quickly, um, check on the chat I mean it's saying my son went for sleepover for friend's birthday drop him Friday about 5 p.m. he got home 6 p.m. Sunday the one said to my messages as as was busy with his mates absolutely that is always like Lucy is the same as well um Kelly's saying two beads I'll have a good night, lovely. I see you soon. Joe has to go. Right, so two beads. Let's try it with two beads then. Well, Kelly's saying uneducated opinion. No, it isn't, Kelly, because just because like you don't do um jewelry, you have got a very good eye for design. And you can see it. Like it doesn't really matter if it's knitting or if it's like you can see how much the pattern comes together. Vicky's saying two beads, Lorna is saying two beads. Right, okay, so I'm, I am actually just going to leave this on here and I'm going to come up and I'm going to just start another little pattern. We're going to do another little swatch. So I need some more three mils. So I'm just taking some more off my strand. And I'm going to start with a three mil, two seed beads, three mil, two seed beads. 3 mil, 2 seed beads, 3 mil, 2 seed beads. Like, how many have we got? I might have added one more set again. One, one money. No, no, I haven't. Right, so then we're going to turn around. And did I? Did I not? 1, 2, 3, 4. No, that's right. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to come through this one. This is the very first one. So I went up in there, so I'm going to come down and pull this up nice and tight so we got our first loop look that looks better already like for me visually that looks better already because the three mils are closer so i'm going to pick up two size 15 a three mil two size 15 another three mil and another two size 15 and i'm going to go through this bead here so i came down and now i'm going to go back up i'm just going to hold on to it so it doesn't the thread doesn't travel backwards and my pattern doesn't get loose so i'm just going to go through this guy there we go make sure it's nice and nice and tight it looks better already i mean let me just pop this in the shot it looks better already i think we need to try it with one die so again, I'm going to do a few more with the two and then we will try it with the one. So I'm going to do two seed beads, one three mil, two seed beads, one three mil, and another two seed beads. And I'm going to come back through this one. So I'm, I was exiting towards the top and I'm going to come towards the bottom. Just like that. And I'm going to come through this one. Actually, I'm going to keep it in my hand. I'm just going to keep going backwards and forwards. So one, two, three mil, two seed beads, 
three mil two seed beads and I'm gonna go down through this guy. I'm just gonna keep going backwards and forwards. I think that already looks miles better. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. Oh, Kelly's saying yes, yes, it looks better. See? Just, you just need to just need to you just need to look at it. I think it's not just about like the, you know the number of beads or like even if if you're a crafty person it doesn't matter what craft you're looking at you can have um how do I explain this so you, you you can have an eye for color and that goes like for example choosing colors you could have an eye for color and then that means you could pick out paints to paint your wall you could pick out um beads to use in jewelry you could pick out yarn to like different yarns to knit together so if you if you got that then um then then that sort of goes across all the crafty stuff so i'm picking up two seed beads three millimeter two seed beads and then I'm going to go through this guy here. So I'm just snaking up and down, going through one or another. Beat. So we got four now. We could, we could tweak it. So let, let me add. Let's, let's add one more. Is that, that's enough. We could tweak it. So we got, we, we look how much space have we got here. So we could, instead of picking up the two, um, 15, 3 mil, 2, 15, we could very well be adding a 6 mil in just in there. I think that might would look good. That, so I'm going to go ahead and try that here and just add a couple of, couple of places. So sort of go up and down a couple of times and see how it will look. So instead of picking up the two seed bead, or maybe I'll pick up one seed bead. Then the six mil and another seed bead. And the three mil. Oh, run out of three mils. Cherry Singh, totally agree. I can't draw or paint, but I'm good with color. I think everything comes with, with practice. It's like the more, uh, and it's like across the different, um, the different crafts, not just um, not just beading, and and you can utilize these skills, you know. And and let's face it, us crafters, we always move on from one one craft to another, right? So I added the six mil in there. I'm gonna do the same on top. So we're gonna have to do. Oops, it's getting caught on my little. Um, my nail is still not better. I'm just gonna cut the end of that. Um, unfortunately, I don't know. I think it's going to take a long time to heal, but never mind. That that's that's why we shouldn't do housework. Because <laughs> you have broken nails, right? So seed bead, six mil. So housework is housework is not good for you. You just need to do you just need to do beading <laughs> all the time. Three mil and then two seed beads. And I'm going to come through this. Now, it might not work out. You might pull the pattern out too much. But you could alter. Oops. I come through. You could alter. Let's pull that tight. I think if you're going to do this, you might need three seed beads in the middle. Let's add a few more. I think it's going to look great. So seed bead, six mil seed bead, three millimeter, another two seed beads. And I'm going to hold this up and hold on to it. Now you could do this with the other sizes as well. So it doesn't have to be, bicons would look brilliant because they that shape that they would fit in that hole. Bicons will look, I, I like it already. But I think at the end, I will probably run through these beads just to tighten them up. So I'm going to do a few more bits here. Seed bead, six mil seed bead, three mil, two seed beads. And then I'm going to come down this guy here. Then seed bead, six mil seed bead, 
three mil and two seed beads going up. I like this one. I like the six mils on the side. But I don't think it would work if we were crossing over. What do we think? Let me know. I'm just going to go and, um, and shut the window quickly. It's getting a bit chilly here. But let me know. What do you think? Um, there. Shall we, shall we try to um, have the three mils, well, the six mils in the middle in a pattern? Or, or I, I think the six mils looks really nice. But maybe we need to add three in here. Go, go back to three. <laughs> so we started with three and then we're going to end up with three because to, to, there's a little bit gappy there. Can you see? So I think we need three seed beads and then this pattern will look really nice. So I think I'm thinking... I'm going to go ahead and start a new one. I'm going to start it with a, a longer thread because I think that will be a nice pattern. Let me know what do you think. Let me know in the chat if you should play around with the six mils on either side and having three seed beads in the middle and make that into a, um, a proper bracelet because I think that would look really good. Very, very pretty. It would be. So I'm going to go ahead and thread another not a needle what I'm doing <laughs> hundred times a day I'm just threading needles have I got a straight needle here there we go almost new I think I'm running out the size 11 Um, Kelly saying looks interesting, but I agree with three with the larger beads is too gappy. Yeah, we need three seed beads in there. Could it be not pull tighter? I think the problem is if I pull this tighter, it's gonna pull the whole bracelet tighter. So if I go into the middle, let me just let me just run around because we still got the thread here. So if I did a bracelet like that, I would then go up. We could you could either run sort of up on one side to tightening the sides up and together, and then uh, you could run through the whole of the middle. It's a good point actually. Let's tighten it up first. But then if I run through the middle, it might just turn into straight seed beads. Sort of a straight line no it's not gonna look good and when I, i'm already seeing when i'm pulling this can you see what happens it's all sort of bulges up like they all buckering the, the whole bracelet would bucker it needs three seed beads in the middle and if i just go through there so if i pull it can you see so it's sitting nice and straight and when i pull it it's all it needs an extra seed bead right putting this to the side and then threading another needle. Cherry saying, agree needs an extra bead for the six mil, but I think it's gonna look really good. Right, needle, threading. And we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna start with a, I'm just get more beads off the strand. And actually, I need more seed beads out as well. So, I'm going to start with a three mil. I'm going to start with a three mil, and then I'm going to pick up three size 15s, another three mil. I'm going to pick up one size 15, one six mil, another size 15. And the three mil. No, I need. I got the three mil on there already. Oh no, I haven't. A three. We need a three mil and three size fifteens. There we go. And then let me just get these out of the way. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna go through this guy here. And I'm just pulling this up. So we got like we make like a drop shape. Should I not? I'm going to not this. No, no, I won't because I'm, I will still need to come through it um, if I want to add more towards the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up one seed bead, 
one six mil one seed bead if I knot it together it would give us a nice grounding but it, it's that that three millimeter has got quite a small hole so seed bead six mil seed bead three mil and then three seed beads taking it down and then I'm gonna come back on myself and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna hold this up so it's gonna be nice and tight just wrap that around one more time there we go so I'm gonna I went up and then I'm gonna come down going from one side to another I'm gonna try to hold this really nice and tight I mean you can always run back with your thread shall we no I'm not gonna because I need to continue I said shall we, I, I'm sort of thinking to myself if I should run around just once there but if I run around um, I will keep filling up the beads with thread and there is only so many times we can go through each bead so seed bead six mil seed bead three mil and three size 11 so I went down and now I'm gonna go up I'm gonna go through this guy here so I'm only going through the three mils and the six mils are always on the side right let's pull this up nice and you're gonna to have to either add a stopper bead or do something on this I think that's gonna look good now three size 15 <laughs> six mil seed bead three mil three seed beads and I'm gonna come down in in this one here so we're always going through not the first one the second one now if you uh, if you wanted to we could have more of a section so we could have a more of a netted section in the middle oh I think that that would look good as well there is so many things you could do like you do one thing and you get one idea and then you go on to the next one and the next one and the next one right so i'm gonna i'm gonna add a few more bits so 15 6 mil 15 3 mil and three seed beads and i'm gonna go down on I'm exiting out of this one you kind of like going down on the one which is sort of towards the end all the time and you're going up and then you're coming down so always where your thread is, you're all going away from that thread. Pulling this nice and tight. And then seed bead, six mil seed bead, three mil and three size 15 seed beads. And then I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna very quickly add a few more. Seed bead six mil, seed bead three mil, one, two, three. So, what do you think of this pattern? I think it would, oops, I lost, have I lost the seed bead? No, I think it would be definitely worth, definitely worth to make this into your bracelet. I think it would be really pretty. Has anybody, if you got an idea, how would you like or add a bead or take away a bead to do? Let me know. I'm wondering, I'm actually thinking that how we could add a bit of embellishment on the top. Because I think, I think it's going to be really pretty. Look, it gives you such a pretty pattern. But I'm wondering if we could add, but if we added another, hmm. Maybe we just need to go through and reinforce those rows somehow. We could come and add once, I need a few more three mils. We could add, we could come running up and down, add another three mil. But then, but then it will be like a complete different pattern. I always do this. I start off with one and then just keep adding and adding, adding and adding to it. Seed bead, six mil seed bead. 3 mil, 1, 2, 3 seed beads. 
Oh, Susie, bless you. <laughs> Susie's saying, woohoo, I have, hi everyone, I have finally worked out how to comment on YouTube after months of trying to create a channel so I can join chat. Oh, we're well, very, very welcome, Susie. <laughs> Debbie's saying, Susie took me forever too. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to have a live <laughs> to show everybody how to make a channel to, or actually maybe I could find somebody where I could, I'm sure there are tutorials for that on, on, on YouTube, the how to set up a, a little channel. And, um, so you can, so you can comment, like make an account and showing you all the steps because you can't, you can't comment without it. So you have to have a uh, Google account and then set up a channel on it because only channel can comment on channel. Robin is saying, I think this one is a great button. Thank you. Kelly is saying, welcome to Susie. How much more shall we do this? I do add a two more beads. And then I need a couple more six mil and a couple more three mil as well. So seed bead, six mil seed bead, three mil and then three seed beads. And then I'm gonna go up through this guy here. Make sure it's nice. I think this will make a nice, a nice little bracelet pattern. And we could add, I'm really, I'm really wanting to try to add an extra, extra diamond in the middle. Because we, we could quite easily do that. Um, <laughs> one idea to another. Shall we do that? Shall, shall we try? Shall we try to add an extra diamond in the middle? Because we can very easily do that. But if, the bracelet will be wider. and But we can very easily do that. Shall we add a diamond? Shall we try another little piece with a diamond in the middle? I think it would look really good. Let me know in the chat. Chili saying love the colors. This is the, the, well, it's either the autumn rainbow or mermaid pink. They do mer most of the time it's called mermaid pink. But I think if you look at it in crystal, it's called autumn rainbow. Every, oh, the, I need a sip of my Coke. And he's saying, I think it's good to keep it simple. It's easy to overdo it. They'll be saying, yes, diamond, please. So, Elaine, it's not hard. Like, you're just going to add one extra step to be able to add the diamond in the middle. Let's have a go. I'm going to go and take more thread <laughs> and thread a new needle. I'm, I'm going up to size 10, well, going down to size 10 needle now because all the 11s are on the end of those threads. I must bring some more size 11 needle home i've been using these needles like so much from the website like i, I don't need i don't really use any other needles now the, i use these color eye ones so the red ones are 12s the red ones are 12s the the black one is 10 and the turquoise one on the end, I'm, I'm hoping you can see it, is 11. And I've been using these 11s. They are amazing. Because for me, the 12 is like so flimsy. And when I and they, they bend so easily for me. And sometimes when you're using with smaller beads or you want to go through the same beads more and more time, the size 11 is just the perfect size. So to do this, we're going to add an extra section in there. So I need a few more beads. So I'm going to pick up a three mil. I'm going to pick up three seed beads. I'm going to pick up another three mil. Another three seed beads. Oh, I'm thinking of something else as well. <laughs> another three mil. And another three seed beads. I'm just going to take this down because my needle was quite... Um, quite long we need another one of these guys and then we're gonna go ahead and pick up our side pattern so i'm gonna pick up a seed bead 
six mil seed bead, three mil, one, two, three seed beads. And I'm going to come through this second one right here. I'm going to wrap this around my finger so I can hold it nice and tight and come through. And now we're just going to go ahead. We, we got our little drop at the bottom. I'm going to take this out of the shot. We got that little drop at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and pick up three seed beads. One, two, three, a three mil, another three seed beads. And I'm going to go up the top in this one and pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up a seed bead size um, um, six millimeter seed bead, a three millimeter and three seed beads again. So the side is exactly the same. The side is exactly the same what we've been doing. And I'm going to go up through this kind of just I kind of like like to flip flop it in between and again we're gonna take three seed beads so what we're adding extra in our pattern is the three seed beads the three millimeter and another three seed beads and then I'm gonna go up through this guy here and now I'm doing the side again so Seed bead, six mil, seed bead, three mil, and three seed beads. And I'm going to come through this guy. Oops, where's my needle gun? There we go. Link above. For, oh, thank you, Lucy. Lucy just uh, popped the link in for the needles. They are they really amazing. Like, I feel, since, since we had them, I don't know when was when when did we, when did we have them? That you remember? We must have had them for about a year now. Um, I've been already using these. I think this one's gonna be really pretty too. <laughs> I can see already. I don't know which one is gonna be my favorite. One, two, three, and I'm coming down on this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up. So every single time, let me just pop it down to show you. Every single time when we add a side, we add. No, let, 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 let me, maybe you might add it in the way. I'm going oh, so above it now. I'm being excited over the pattern. So we're going to add three seed bead, three millimeter, three seed beads. And then that, um, that that's the only extra you're adding in. So one, two, three. I wonder. No, we need the three. Uh, I'm, I was just thinking, I wonder if we had two to sort of shorten it in the middle, but I think we need the three. We definitely need the three. So three seed beads, three millimeter, three seed beads. I'm going to come through. And this guy here, the one before the six mil. And I'm picking up the beads for the side again. Um, love the thread color would love would love a hint on what to buy with the kits so when you when you get when you buy the kit there is an option at the bottom to add the thread to it and the guys at the warehouse will pick you the right color so seed size 15 six mil size 15 three mil and then three seed beads and i'm coming through here Three seed bead, three millimeter, three seed bead, and I'm going to go up through here. And we just go backwards and forwards, adding, shall I add a couple more rows? Because I think when you add more rows, it will open up your sections even more because you're going to get the pull on the thread. I don't want to pull too much because I don't want the... Um, I don't, I, I don't want the thread to travel backwards. So seed bead, six mil, seed bead. Ooh, I need a few more three mils. Three mil, 
and three size 11, three size 15s. You know, I'm getting tired now because I'm mixing up the numbers. And I'm gonna come through this guy here. Again, picking up three. This is good. This is gonna be nice as well. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna like. I, I will be liking this one better. I do like sometimes a nice wide ribbon bracelet. And then coming down. But one of the ladies in the bead club, she's actually going to a wedding, and she was thinking to make a belt. Now something like this would be the perfect um, beaded belt to go on a dress because the netting is going to be, it's not going to be stretchy, but some, some, somewhat is going to have a little bit of give and take in it. And <laughs> so it's sort of pre-dinner and after dinner, you, you will be fine. Seed bead, six mil, seed bead, three mil, three seed beads. I'm going to add a couple more to either side. And then we can, we can really see the pattern. And when, you, when you're adding the extra diamond in the middle, you really don't need to add. Like you, you, you don't, need, don't need to go through your thread path anymore because I think it will be strong enough. Debbie, I think, could you add a crystal between the diamonds to make it study it? Absolutely. One, two, three, um, six mil, I think we need. Let, let me add, let me just add. <laughs> Let me just add a, a couple more and then and like go and grab some crystals out of the cupboard and we could have a look because I think that would look amazing actually. One, two, three, coming down from here. And, up, and, and if you do add the crystals in, that will that will strengthen the whole because you're going to be going through the beads again so i think that will be good so seed bead six mil seed beads i think we got four let's add one more section seed bead i need three mils forget my last comment i like this this sample with the diamond in the center i like it's 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 done it's it like you know one thing leads to another so when i was doing the other one i liked the other one and now i'm doing this one and i like this one and but this is how it works so often people ask me like oh i picked up the wrong beads actually Ooh, take them back quickly we need to do the diamond first before we do the side often people ask like what my, what's my favorite technique or what's my favorite jewelry or which which one was my favorite what i made and um for me it's always the current one because that's the one i'm working on that's 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 the one like i'm paying attention to that's the one i'm working the colors out for that's that's the one i'm playing with but when you any and you know like you know we've done hundreds and hundreds of kits but any any pattern when we make it up like it's always start off like this so i will sit down and have a play and and start with start start with that and then get to that and then for that we're gonna we're gonna go here and then from here we're gonna go there and and then sometimes i jump back from the last one to the first one and tweak tweak that one so it's really really just sitting down and playing uh, I think I, I really like this one and I really like the idea to adding the crystals in. I'm just going to go up and then we're going to add the crystals in there. I'm going to go and grab one. I think we need six mil. Eight mil might be too big. Might get away with it. I'll go and grab some of the cupboard. Right, I'm going to come through here. And three seed beads, three mil, three seed beads. Come through them, but then we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five on one side and only four on the other side. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to come down to even it out. I can't leave it uneven. And 
and three saint beads. Coming down on that guy. And adding the last diamond in. Well, not last, because we can make this wider or bigger. But I for, for the swatch itself. And then coming through that kind of, I'm going to go and grab some crystals and see how is it going to look. I think, so it's, can you see like here at the end, sort of your diamonds are like still sitting in, but as you go along and add more rows going out, they, they all going to stretch out just like that. Right, I'm going to go and grab crystals. Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> My bead mat is come down a little bit. So, crystals. Right, um, bicones. It's all, always the case. You want to put your hand on crystals and... You never have the right size or you never have the right color. It's always the way, isn't it? So, these are sort of, a, no, I need a tealy color. Well, I'm pro probably not going to have the right color. This is six mil. Oh, yes, I have. I've got a teal. i got a teal. So, that's six mil. These are eight mils. i got eight mils as well. So, you can see what's the difference. Right at the bottom, I have got some. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I found a, a fa I found a little sort of beadwork in there, <laughs> in, the, in the crystals. I don't know what's this or what 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 I was doing with it, but um, come on, camera. I want you to focus. No, no, no. It's camera says no. I don't know what it was. But that was in the bag with the beads. So that's the eight mil. So let's have a look. I'm gonna just grab a few. I need to get a new chair. This chair is so squeaky now, and actually it's not that comfortable anymore. I need to get a new. Uh, I need to get a very comfy chair, especially with my dodgy back. Right, and I'm gonna grab the eight mil off it as well, and just see which one's gonna fit in the hole better. So I think if if we go, if we weave around and we go in between the the three mils every single time, I think the eight mil is gonna be too big because it's not it doesn't want to sit the right way. Eight mil is gonna be too big. I think then you have to go with the six mil. What do you think? Let me know in the chat which one shall we try. I think the six mil will fit in there pretty much perfectly. Well, let me know in the chat if I should, if you should try the eight mil or the six mil. I think six mil. What do you think? I think eight mil is gonna bulge up as well so much, and the six mil is pretty much the same size as the bead on the side, so I think that will. Um... <laughs> then he's asking, is this going to be at the bracelet at a visitor? <laughs> Oh, bless. Those naughty visitors, they don't know it's Sunday night. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right, I'm going to take this um, eight mils off. I'm going to go with the six mil because I think that's, that's going to look better. So I'm going to just come around and how am I going to do this? So I, I'm, I'm finished the pattern because we would have, yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm just going to come around and I'm going to edit from here going down because otherwise if I weave the thread up and add down just feeling feeling that if we did this to the end obviously be adding the clasp on so I'm just gonna go back on myself I'm gonna go through the seed bead six mil hematite seed bead and then I'm gonna turn in and come through the three mil now what we need to see I'm gonna pick one of this up and I'm gonna pop it in here do we need to add a seed bead in between? I think we might need a seed bead 
I'm going to pick up a seed bead, crystal seed bead. Because otherwise they're going to be, the thread will be pulling it together. I'm going to go up that three mil there. Pull this up nice and tight. And then and then I think did I get a knot? What happened here? I think I got a knot. Oh no, 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 not heaven. <laughs> this knot. <laughs> and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna turn round. So I'm gonna turn my thread puff this way, go around and then come back. I wanna be coming out of this three mil right here and then go straight down. Right, I'm gonna go up those seed beads. Oh, hold on. I think I picked up the wrong needle or something. What's going on? I got so many needles and threads here on the mat now. <laughs> you keep losing, keep losing track of them. Which needle belongs to which thread? Sometimes, that's why I sort of like to cut off the threads from such as that. If you do this, if you add the crystals on, obviously the crystals are not in the, the little bundles I put together. That's an extra. But if you add um, these on, we're going to be going back on our thread buff. So if you have got anywhere a little bit loose, this is going to tighten it up. So I'm coming through that three mil. I'm going to pick up one seed bead one six mil and a seed bead and then I'm gonna come through diagonally at the bottom and again I'm gonna go into these three seed beads three mil and I weave my th thread around to the next one so let me just turn my beadwork around because I like to sort of stitch away from myself I think this is going to be pretty, very pretty. And obviously after, if I like work out the pattern and have a little swatch, uh, I do have to go back and work out how to add the class, what class I'm going to be adding onto it. This one probably, hold on, have I pulled it through the bead? I think I stitched through the thread. Will it go back? Oh yes. And coming through that again, seed bead, crystal seed bead. I think I think Brenda sent a photo. I'm gonna go gonna go and grab it for you one sec. And then coming down and I'm gonna again I'm gonna go up towards the crystal is there already turn my thread around until I get the next one but I think it's gonna look really good I might we might need an extra seed bead or maybe not because I think it just I would just want it to sit nice and flat or or do we go down in size? Do I go down to four mil and add two seed beads on either side? Let me just grab four mil. Let me just get, get grab four mil because I think if we add the four mil in, it's gonna sit inside the the little the I think this one's this one is gonna be that's gonna be all right that color so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a couple of this here I'm just gonna try it so I'm gonna add three formulas here and just see what's what's gonna how is it gonna look like because I think if you had the formula so you don't know until you try it <laughs> when you had the formula let me just show you I think the formula can you see it will fit right into with like will be kind of like suspended in that gap 
So I'm going to weave my thread around and I'm going to add the four mils into these three. And then we see how it's going to look. This one is just, for me here, like, you know, sometimes for you it's difficult because you're looking at it through. For me, I can see it in like, you're looking at it in through 2D because <laughs> you look at it on the screen. But I'm seeing it in 3D and I can see they're like sort of lifting up and they're not, like not sitting how I really wanted to sit. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to run around, yeah, and come down. So, going up through those beads. Turning my thread around. And we're going to try the formula. Now, I think we're going to have to add. We're going to have to add. We're going to need two seed beads. So, go through a three mil. Need to go through a three mil. I'm going to pick up two seed beads. I'm going to pick up a four millimeter crystal and another two seed bead. And I'm going to cross over to the bottom. There we go. Again, I'm going to come around. I'm going to come around and see. Add another one here. Again, two. I oh, need a crystal. Two seed beads, crystal, two seed beads. And going down. I don't know. I don't know if I like. <laughs> I don't know if I like the seed beads. The two seed beads. They're just like throwing. Like it's not not. It doesn't look, no, actually it's nice. Let, let's add one more and we see. But I think somebody, like, <laughs> if, if, you, if you, any of you are going to do this, please send me a picture if you do a larger piece. Because I really, I want to see it. How is this going to look like? Because sometimes with, with a pattern or especially like this, you just, yeah, you need to do more. You haven't done enough. The two seed bead crystal and, and, and adding three crystals is not kind of enough. <laughs> Another two seed beads crossing towards the bottom. Actually at the same time I'm gonna go through those beads. I'm gonna cross over on the side and I'm gonna add one more. Now actually it's gonna look good. But it goes like this. Design processes goes like this. You pick up a bead and then you lose a bead. Then you pick up a bead and then you lose a bead again. Need one more crystal. One, one, two. Oh, is that the time? I, I just looked up and it's like 10, <laughs> 10 to 9. And I was only going to do an hour and a half tonight. I need to go and sort that, Christopher. I want to do another test on him tonight just to make sure that everything is fine. Right, what do we think? I think 4 mil. I love the 4 mil. I think it looks really good. Um, in anything, I think the four millimeter crystal looks better, but um, in a different color. Yeah, absolutely. But that is just what I grabbed out of the the, the the box. I have got this color as well, and I have got other colors, but um, that is just what I grabbed out of the box. But I think that looks really good. I am really really pleased with that. Right, I'm gonna go and grab um, Brenda's picture and show it to you all. Go to downloads, bring it out. So Brenda has been doing, she's done like a little middle section and just thinking about it, it's bringing it in. She's done a little middle section and then she just went along and added, let me just zoom out a bit, um, sort of a little right angle V with smaller bits. I think that looks really good. So here, I'll just pull this down, just zoom in. Let's just make that a tiny bit bigger, come on. So we can see it better. There we go. So in she had she's had. Did you start with the smaller ones or did you do the bigger ones and then you did either side? Let us know in the comments. So with that one, you would have have been doing the the four six mils and then you work yourself down to the three mils as well. 
this way it looks really really good but that's that's in relation we did this earlier that um you can make you can absolutely make just a little swatch for the middle just and, and so even if you just made the swatch up just to play with it and and just try that different patterns different number of beads you can still use it up for bracelets you don't have to go and make the whole bracelet right let me just check in um four millimeter reminds me of kids quiz program blockbuster um we prefer the dark green crystal yeah i think the dark green crystal would be better in there absolutely 100 percent agree with you i think that for me yeah i love the dark green crystal like the smaller crystal in big color one of, yeah i think yeah absolutely but i just that was the first first one i grabbed out of the box right my lovelies i hope everybody's having a beautiful week i'm gonna sign off I am, Natalie is with you tomorrow on Total of Beads. She's with you on Wednesday as well. Now, Wednesday is um, going to be our two-year anniversary doing the lives. Um, but I'm going to do something special on Friday because, unfortunately, I can't I can't be, I can't do Wednesdays. I, I'm so, so gutted. But um, I have to be in Chelmsford uh 11.30, I think, or 11.15, something like that. So I would I would not make it. I have to... I I have I have to, I have to go for this one. So um I'll be with you on Friday. And again, I'm probably not supposed to tell you, <laughs> but they're gonna be some special bits of pieces on Friday. So everybody have a beautiful weekend, whatever left of it. Have uh, or like you know, if you're in the States, you've still got the whole afternoon. Um have a beautiful week. Natalie's with you tomorrow, and I'll be with you on Friday. So bye everybody. Keep on beating, keep on crafting. Don't forget to send me the pictures. Bye everybody. Bye bye bye.